question number 161 read the following statements the very first statement says lobe fins evolved into first amphibians this is given in your ncrt book 2 and it is a correct statement the next statement says some amphibians most likely evolved into reptiles also given in your ncrt book this is also a correct statement some land reptiles evolved into fish like reptiles this is a true statement and the last statement says dinosaurs though now extinct probably shared a common ancestor with birds and this is also a correct statement because most dinosaurs probably evolved into birds Coelacanth, which was earlier thought to be extinct, was the ancestor of modern-day frogs and salamanders. How many of the above statements are incorrect? Options are 0, 1, 2 and 3. And as all the given statements are correct statements, so the correct answer is option number 1, 0. No statement is incorrect. Option number 2, 3 and 4 are incorrect options and the correct answer is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question, which is question number 162. Complete the analogy. Numbat is to ant eater. Spotted cuscus is to. And the options given are marsupial mouse, bobcat, lemur, wolf. And if you see the diagram, the figure given in your NCRT book, which shows convergent evolution between Australian and placental mammals, you're going to see that as Numbat is to ant eater. Spotted cuscus is to lemur, a placental mammals. So the correct answer to this question is option number three. Spotted cuscus is to lemur. Option number one, marsupial mouse is incorrect. As you see, marsupial mouse will show convergent evolution with mouse. The next option is bobcat and this is an incorrect option. As you can see, bobcat show convergent evolution with Tasmanian tiger cat. So, option number two is also incorrect. The last option is wolf and this is an incorrect option because wolf show convergent evolution with Tasmanian wolf. So, the correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's discuss the next question. Question number 163. According to Hugo de Vries, single step large mutation that caused speciation was called and the options given are genetic drift, saltation, gene flow, branching, descent. Hugo de Vries worked on evening primrose and brought forth the idea of mutation, large differences arising suddenly in a population. According to him, mutations causes evolution. So the correct answer to this question is mutations cause evolution. And according to him, single step large mutation that caused speciation was called saltation. So option number two is the correct answer. Option number four is incorrect because concept of branching descent and natural selection was given by Darwin. Option number one, genetic drift is incorrect because genetic drift involves sudden changes. And option number three, gene flow is also an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number two, saltation. Let's move on to the next question, which is question number 164. Industrialization in Britain generated smoke and soot that led to the selection of melanized moths against the non-melanized moths. Which of the following types of natural selection represent the above example? The very first graph in the options represent a population at hardy wilbur equilibrium. The graph given in second option represents balancing selection. The third option represents directional selection. And in fourth option, there is a graph that represents destructive selection. Now, a selection of one type of moth, that is melanized moth against non-melanized moth, due to camouflage represents selection of one type of species while the other is eliminated and thus it represents directional selection. And among the given graphs given in option 1, 2, 3 and 4, it is option number 3 that represents a graph that depicts directional selection. So the correct answer should be option number 3. Let's discuss the next question. Question number 165. Which of the following structures is homologous to thorns of bougainvillea? And the options given are thorns of cucurbita, tendrils of cucurbita, 
tendrils of pison, spines of cactus. And if you have a look at the figure given in your NCRT book, tendrils of cucurbita, they show homology with the thorns of bougainvillea. So in the question, tendrils of cucurbita is the correct answer. Thorns of cucurbita is incorrect because thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita are modification of axillary branch. And show homology. Option number three and four are incorrect options because tendrils of pea or pisum and spines of cactus are modified leaves. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. 